Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to start Visual Studio 2022 and uh, .NET uh, Core 6.0 So let's create a new project in .NET Core 6.0 Create a new project and uh, in Visual Studio 2022 and you have some uh, other things like console app, console app, ASP.NET Core web apps, Blazor web assembly app and in the later video sessions, I will clear the Blazor WebAssembly web apps, ASP.NET Core Empty, uh, ASP.NET Core uh, Model View Controller. So this is the Model View Controller, and application name is Working Test Application Test App on uh, six. Okay, on six. I mean to say that uh, .NET six point zero. So here we have a .NET 6.0 long term supports and authentication type is similar configure for the HTTPS enabled dockers and looking like uh, the similar but only changes it here the numbers like 5.0 and 6.0 okay so um, how many files is there actually exist in this uh, 6.0 so you can check it and uh, okay 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 so here we have only a program.cs file is exist you can see and uh, startup.cs file is not there actually you can see that startup.cs file is not there and uh, in the program.cs file is converted in this form and here we have a builder is there builder is there web application dot create builder by using this builder you can just uh, add that dependencies uh, like that uh, builder dot services call the services so only the builder uh, you can call that uh, startup files uh, configure service methods and you can use the configure configurations by using that builder okay so you can uh, see that example um, app dot builder dot uh, builder uh, dot build after build you can see that app dot configurations uh, you looking like that uh, I see services dot add add create service get service create asynchronous service get service get required service is there looking like that Okay, so there is a lots of methods so create a scope is there also there in the program.cs file in the program.cs file that is the method actually create asynchronous scope is also there so lots of things we should add it here so just you can use builder dot services dot add transient so you can you add the dependencies at here like that Okay, so just an example to add that services and here we have a map dot map controller and the route path that is the default path index and ID and you here you can see home controller looking like similar but only changes in the app settings suggestion is the similar I think okay it's a similar okay so app dot run method by using that uh, you, your um, program will run after that so if comment it save this and test it wait for some time to run your project app dot run method to run your uh, kestrel server actually yeah the project is configured to use SSL server. Yes. Uh, do you want to install certificate? Yes. Wait for some time to bug in end to end applications. So it takes some time uh, to run the applications. Okay, that's an issue. Okay, 
so stop that applications after that uh, running your command window press any key to close the window uh, to automatically close the console when debugging stops so exit it with the code zero you can see the exit with the code with the zero it's there is no uh, press any key to close the window after uh, run this save this and run it application easily you can run your application on your browser by using the app dot run command yeah there is so thank you guys for watching this video and the later video session i will cover the uh, asp.net core 6.0 so thank you very much for watching